So the data set that we are trying to visualize today is delivery logistics data set. The data set can be obtained from this Kaggle URL and this data set focuses on deliveries operations providing detailed information about trips and deliveries. It includes data from both testing and training phases. So when you will download the CSV file or Excel file, you will see in your data, you have a simple categor categorical column representing data as either a test data or a training data. We have a trip creation time, route, schedule, UUID, some kind of ID for the route schedule. What type of route is it? Is it a carting route or a FTL route? So for full truck load can be FTL. Then we have trip UID. So for every trip, there is a unique ID. Source center from where the parcel are picked. Source name, destination center and destination name. We have OD start time and OD end time, which is simply trip start time and trip end time. We have a start scan to end scan. So in this data set, the start scan to end scan field typically represents the time duration in seconds, minutes or any other unit between the first scan of package at a logistics faculty start scan and its last scan at the same or subsequent facility that is end scan. And this metric is often used to measure processing or handling time when a logistic network or within a logistic network. And it can help analyze operational efficiency, identify delays and optimize workflows. The next field that we have is is cutoff field and it indicates whether a package was processed before or after the cutoff time for dispatch. One or true typically means the package was processed before the cutoff time and zero means it was processed after the cutoff time. And this information is crucial for tracking whether a package was handled within the expected timelines. The remaining columns are cutoff factor, a factor representing the impact of cutoff time on the delivery process, often used to assess whether cutoff times are met. So here you will see some cutoff factor value. Then we have segment actual time. So we also have cutoff timestamp, the timestamp indicating the cutoff time for a package, which is the deadline for processing. Actual distance to destination, the real physical distance from the current location to the destination. This is actual destination. Then we have actual time, OSRM time. So obviously it is very useful because it, it gives the estimated time to the destination based on open source routing machine, a routing algorithm used for estimating travel times. We have OSRM distance, the distance from the current location to the destination based on OSRM estimates. Factor is a factor indicating performance or efficiency, often comparing actual result to expected